Hi, and welcome back to Break 100 Golf. I'm John. If you're looking for information about the supported launch monitors for GS Pro, then you've come to the right place. I did some research on this to do a complete overview for you of all the supported launch monitors for GS Pro and then some of the other options. Now, before I get started, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It really helped me to grow the channel so I can continue to bring content to YouTube like this. The first thing I want to do is go over all the supported brands and then all of the individual options for those brands and then some other options as well. So looking at the graphic on the screen, you've got four companies that are officially supported and that's Uniker, Foresight Sports, Bushnell Golf, and Flightscope. And within that, Uniker IXO, Uniker IXO2, Uniker iMini, Uniker QED, Flightscope Mevo Plus, Flightscope XI, the Flightscope X2, the Flightscope X3, the Foresight GC3, the Foresight GC Quad, the Foresight GC Hawk, and the Bushnell Launch Pro. Those are all the official supported launch monitors that will integrate with GS Pro that are supported by GS Pro. And then also GS Pro has a open API interface that the community can create software so they, they can connect their launch monitor potentially to GS Pro. So the reality is any launch monitor, it's maybe possible to connect to GS Pro using their open API interface. So keeping that in mind, put the graphic back up on the screen, the Garmin R10, the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro are two options that I see a lot on YouTube. I have the Garmin R10. You are able to connect both of those to GS Pro fairly easily. Uh, I don't have any issues connecting my Garmin. Uh, from what I understand, the SkyTrack, uh, you're able to connect that as well. I guess there's a couple videos out there. I haven't seen them yet, but I'm gonna look into that. But really, it is possible to connect almost any of them to GS Pro if there is a software version that can connect you to GS Pro through like Bluetooth connectivity. So let's start at the top of the list here with the supported launch monitors. And the first one is going to be the Uniker IXO. This is a ceiling mount launch monitor. Here's the pricing, $10,000 for this particular option. And then here is all of the ball and club data for this option. Now, as I go through these, it's very important to understand that some of these options do have additional yearly subscriptions that you have to pay, or there are different things that you can pay to upgrade to get like club data. Most of them provide ball data. However, you may have to pay an additional subscription to get the club data or you'll have to pay for an additional subscription to use a third-party software like GS Pro. All right, the next one is going to be the Uniker IXO2. And this is also a ceiling mount launch monitor. On the pricing, it is $14,000. And here is the ball and club data that is available for data metrics. After that, we've got the Uniker i Mini. The Uniker i Mini is $4,500. And here are some of the i Mini packages. So you're going to have to pay an additional subscription to get each level of these. I know it's kind of hard to see on here, but there is the player package, the pro package, the champion package, and the Legend Unlocked packages. The player package is included. The pro package is $199 a year. The champion package is $399 a year. And the Legend Unlocked is $19.99. Here is the ball and club data that is available with the iMini. Next is the Uniker QED. And this is also a ceiling mount launch monitor. Pricing on this is $7,000. And here is the available options for ball data and club data for data metrics. All 
All right, let's talk about FlightScope next. And the FlightScope Mevo Plus has a lot of different options. If we look at the base option, usually it runs from $18.69 all the way up to $21.99. And there's 20 data parameters and it does come with 10 E6 Connect simulated golf courses for iOS and PC. It does have some free software included like the FS Golf app, the FS Skill app, and the FS PC software. It, it does have an upgraded kickstand and it has battery life up to three hours. So you can upgrade this also to get club data and extended data metrics with the Pro package and that's usually $799 to $999. They also currently have a Mevo Plus limited edition that has 40 plus data parameters unlocked in 12 E6 courses and it includes Pebble Beach and St. Andrews. Uh, there is free software included like the last one and it does include club path, face angle, and face impact location, which is a great option. So when they sell out of these, that's it for the limited edition. I don't know if they're gonna be coming out with a product like that. They did release this during the 2024 PGA show, and I don't know if they're gonna continue that. I hope they do. Here is all of the available data, which is a lot for the Mevo Plus, if you get the Pro Package. Now there are two supported launch monitors that are no longer on FlightScope's website, which is the FlightScope XI and the FlightScope X2. If you wanna use either one of those devices, you're probably gonna to have to pick those up used on eBay or something like that or from a private party, because I don't believe that those are available anymore as new. The FlightScope X3 is going to be the next device. And the FlightScope X3 is $11,995 currently. It does have 50 data parameters and it does include 10 E6 Connect simulated golf courses for iOS and PC. It has full tracking radar, tracks the ball from impact to landing outdoors. And it does have the patented environmental optimizer feature, auto leveling feed for easy setup and battery life up to six hours, which doubles the battery life of the Mevo Plus. Here are the available data metrics. Now let's move on to the Foresight brand. The next monitor is going to be the Foresight GC3. And the GC3 is going to come in at three different price levels. There's the GC3 ball enabled bundle, which is $59.99 currently. And that basically just gives you ball data. It's not gonna give you any club data. Then they also have the GC3 Essentials Plus bundle and then the GC3 Players Bundle, which is at $84.99. Looking to the left on this graphic for the GC3, here is the data metrics available for ball data and club data. Next is going to be the GC Quad, and the GC Quad is quite the unit. GC Quad comes in at $15,999. They say that it's the most advanced launch monitor ever produced and that the GC Quad is the world's most accurate, versatile, and complete launch monitor on the market. Looking at the graphic, all the way to the right is the GC Quad, the ball data and club data that is available with the GC Quad. Next on the Foresight brand is the GC Hawk. GC Hawk is a ceiling mount launch monitor. The price comes in at $19,999. Per Foresight, the GC Hawk is an overhead mounted launch monitor that delivers a whole new level of freedom and flexibility to your game. Looking at the graphic, the third one over is the GC Hawk, and it looks like it has the same ball data and club data metrics available to it. Next is the Bushnell Launch Pro. Now Bushnell bought Foresight and Foresight essentially is integrated with the Bushnell. That's the software you're gonna use or a third party software like GS Pro is also supported, but you're going to have to pay an additional subscription in order to get the benefits of that. And then also you'll have an additional fee to pay if you want the club data. 
you can buy it just ball enabled where you just get the, the ball speed, but you're also not going to get that on screen. So you're gonna have to pay for a gold subscription. It's a little bit confusing, so I'll try to go over this as much as possible. And again, before you buy any of these launch miners, it's very important that you look at everything involved in it before you purchase it. Like for instance, this particular launch monitor, when I looked it up, is only available regionally. It's region specific in the United States. So it will not work outside of the United States. Now you are going to get some of the ball data on the actual screen on the Bushnell unit. And the pricing is $1,999 to $34.99. And that's because of whether or not you want the ball data or the ball and club data. If you just want the ball data, it's $19.99 and then $34.99 if you want the club data as well. Now, in order to unlock the ball data and the club data on screen, you're going to have to get the gold subscription in addition to that. And also you're going to need to have the gold subscription if you want to use GS Pro. So the gold subscription is $499 a year, but you do get a lot with it. You're gonna get your ball and club data on screen. You're going to get the FSX Play Gold subscription and the FSX Pro Gold subscription with 25 courses. You can save sessions, you can create players, record unlimited unique clubs, you can track rounds, online gameplay and contests, and you get 3D ball flight and more. And then also, if you don't, opt for the gold subscription, Launch Pro will not connect to software, but will continue to display data via the screen on your device. And again, like I said, if you do not opt for the gold subscription, the Launch Pro will not connect to the software, but it will continue to display data via the screen on the actual device itself. And I think that's great if you're gonna be using it on range or if you just want that information. But for full golf simulation, I don't really think that's an option. So now looking at this graphic, it does include a 14 day free trial of club data and gold software. Software subscription is sold separately. We already talked about that. The FSX play available in gold software subscriptions. Now the club and ball unit, you have to buy the club data within two weeks of registration. Otherwise the price goes up. Uh, original price is going to be $1,500. It increases to $1,750 after the two-week window. Uh, you have to have a gaming optimized PC and the device will not work outside of the United States. Here are the Launch Pro data points. So let's move on to the non-supported launch monitor category. And these launch monitors are going to be able to be connected through the GS Pro Open API interface. So there is going to be like a third party connector that you can use to connect these devices. The first one I will talk about is the Garmin R10. And the Garmin R10 typically can be purchased for $499 to $599. And here are the launch monitor metrics available for that. There is no subscription for any of these metrics. Moving on, we have the Rapsodo MLM2 Pro. That typically is gonna come in at $699.99, and that includes the one-year premium membership initially included with the purchase, and then from there, you're gonna to have to have a subscription of $199 per year. You're gonna have a dual optical camera vision, radar processing for precision accuracy. Uh, there are 13 metrics and six measured metrics, including spin rate and spin axis, and it is Apple and Android compatible. And again, looking at this, you do get the one-year premium membership upon purchase, and then you'll have to pay for it after that. Here are the available data metrics. Having said all that, it is possible that any launch monitor could be connected using the GS Pro Open API interface, using like a connector that may be available 
online, like I use the connector that I got off of GitHub for the Garmin R10 that allows me to connect the Garmin R10 to GS Pro and use the software. So it may be possible that there's a connector out there for other launch monitors that may be available to you or that you already have. Now, before you purchase any of these launch monitors, I recommend you do a ton of research on it because once you buy it, your resale value for it, if you put it on the open market, is not gonna be as much as you paid for it. And you may have a subscription that maybe you don't want, or maybe it's easier to use one because you have lefties and righties playing for friends. You know, having a launch monitor that sits in the back might be a better option, you know, like the Flightscope Mevo Plus, or one of those that sit behind, you know, the ones that, you know, sit next to the ball, you're going to have to, you, it's kind of difficult to change it every single time to go back and forth between a righty and lefty. Well, that's about it for today's video. I certainly do appreciate you watching today. Please hit that like button and share with any of your friends that may be interested in GS Pro launch monitor options. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and do that right now and turn on notifications so that you're notified when I release new content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.